protest over an oil pipeline descending into chaos. Officers in riot gear spent six hours breaking this up. 140 people arrested, and Will Carr has more on that story now. What happened? How did it happen, Oil? Well, good morning, Bill. Tension's been building over this pipeline for months, and yesterday the protesters made a literal line at the highway that runs next to this pipeline. They started burning cars and tires, and it was all on private property that was owned by the oil company. Authorities have warned over and over that they needed to get off the property or they'd be arrested, but that didn't stop hundreds, many with their faces covered from making their stand Thursday. Some were shouting, hand shoot. Others threw firebombs at officers, and it led to members of law enforcement responding in full riot gear. During the chaos, a local sheriff says that one woman fired three shots at the police. Thankfully, no one was hit. Our emphasis here is we don't want a confrontation. The last thing North Dakota law enforcement wants is a confrontation. The last thing the state of North Dakota wants is a, is a confrontation. But we're, we're having our hand forced at some point. When you take over somebody else's property or somebody else's home, who do you call? The cops. Pipeline protesters also flooded Hillary Clinton's headquarters in Brooklyn yesterday. Those opposing the pipeline say it will ruin ancient sites and will pollute the Standing Rock Sioux tribal water, although there's no evidence of that. Supporters say it will be an economic boom for the area and for the United wow, States. What a mess. Will Bill. Carr, thank you with more on that. Thanks, Will.